हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर देवेंद्र मोहन फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स गुरु जम्बेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हिसार इन हरियाणा टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पिन रेजोनेंस एंड न्यूक्लियर मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेंस स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी अंडर द पेपर एटॉमिक मॉलिकुलर एंड लेजर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आफ्टर going through this we will be able to understand the esr and nmr spectroscopy of some of the molecules electron spin resonance termed as esr is known as electron paramagnetic resonance as well this is the important method for obtaining information about paramagnetic substances ESR absorption was first observed by Zewski in 1945 at Kazan and by Komarov and Halliday in USA This is high resolution spectroscopy that uses frequencies in the microwave region of around 10 to the power 9 to 10 to the power 11 hertz and is concerned with microwave induced transitions between magnetic energy levels of electron having a net angular momentum esr differs from simple microwave spectroscopy because it concerned with paramagnetic materials only regarding substances for investigation by esr an esr requires the presence of the unpaired electrons in the sample to be studied its range of applications is restricted to paramagnetic substances and to substances that can be converted into paramagnetic form with sufficient stability for a spectrum to be observed paramagnetism occurs in atoms and ions all configurations with an odd number of electrons must possess angular momentum and therefore must be paramagnetic molecules and molecular ions molecules such as no and no2 have odd number of electrons and are therefore paramagnetic the molecules such as o2 though having an even number of electrons but have a ground state with a partially filled molecular shell and is thus paramagnetic transition group impurities these are atoms or ions with incomplete 3d 4d 5d 4f or 5f shell however not all the valence states of these transition metal ions are paramagnetic the most commonly observed paramagnetic ions are v4+ vo2+ titanium ti3+ chromium cr3+ magnesium mn2+ iron fe3+ and fe2+ co2+ nickel2+ copper2+ platinum2+ rubidium2+ gadolinium3+ molybdenum 5 plus color centers like f centers organic and inorganic radicals donors and acceptors in semiconductors such as phosphorus donor impurities in silicon activators and coactivators in phosphorus such as self activated zinc sulfide radiation damage centers conduction electrons discussing about the resonance condition spin is the only magnetic moment that is associated with the free electron classically the energy of interaction between the magnetic and magnetic field b is e is equal to minus mu e b the magnetic moment is a vector and is collinear with spin angular momentum vector s the operators for the vectors are related by mu e is equal to minus gamma s gamma being the magnetogyric ratio that is the ratio between magnetic and mechanical moments the value of gamma is given by ge e upon 2 me ge is positive dimensionless factor and its value is 2 although its value is 2.0023 as have been calculated from quantum electrodynamical theories mu e is anti parallel to s because of the negative charge on the electron so mu e is equal to minus ge beta e s s is dimensionless and replacing mu e in above equation to obtain the quantum mechanical hamiltonian h is equal to 
जीई बीटा ई एस डॉट बी एज्यूमिंग द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन दैट डायरेक्शन सो दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कंपोनेंट टूवर्ड्स एक्स एंड वाई इज जीरो एंड बी जेड इज रिटर्न एज बी सो हेमिल्टोनियन एच इज इक्वल टू जी ई बीटा ई एस जेड बी बीटा ई इज बोहर मैग्नेट ऑन एंड इज ई एच क्रॉस अपॉन टू एम ई एंड द आइगन वैल्यूज आर द मल्टीपल ऑफ द आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ एस जेड गिवन बाई ई इज इक्वल टू जी ई बीटा ई बी एम एम कैन टेक वैल्यूज वन बाई टू एंड माइनस वन बाई टू देयर फोर ई इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस वन बाई टू जी ई बीटा ई बी नाउ द एनर्जी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू स्टेट्स इज एच न्यू सो डेल्टा ई इज इक्वल टू एच न्यू इज इक्वल टू ई टू माइनस ई वन इज इक्वल टू जी ई बीटा ई बी देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन सेपरेशन बिटवीन टू लेवल्स विद द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विच इज लीनियर द लोएस्ट स्टेट हैज अ नेगेटिव साइन एंड कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट अलाइन पैरल टू द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड हैंस स्पिन एंटी पैरल टू इट द फिगर डिपिक्स द एनर्जी लेवल ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन ए मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वेयर माइक्रोवेव रेडिएशन काज इज रेजोनेस एट ए फील्ड एच न्यू अपॉन जी बीटा ई ट्रांजिशन बिटवीन द टू लेवल्स कैन बी इंड्यूस्ड बाई माइक्रोवेव मैग्नेटिक फील्ड से बी वन एट राइट एंगल टू बी दिस एस्टेब्लिशेज द मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल एंड द पेरिटी डू नॉट चेंज द सिलेक्शन रूल फॉर द मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर एम इज डेल्टा एम इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस वन दिस इज इन कंट्रास्ट टू द इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल ट्रांजिशंस ऑब्जर्व इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्पेक्ट्रा वेयर द पेरिटी ऑफ द स्टेट्स डिफर्स सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट्स इन डेल्टा ई इज इक्वल टू एच न्यू इज इक्वल टू ई टू माइनस ई वन इज इक्वल टू जी बीटा ई बी सो बी इन मिली Tesla is equal to 35.724 volts in gigahertz. The different frequency bands and magnetic field for resonance, where G is taken as two for conventional ESR spectrometers, have been given in the table, where S band, X band, K band, Q band, and E band, corresponding to the wavelengths and the frequency and the magnetic field B, have been shown. The previous equation establishes the dependence on. There is appearance of spins sublevel due to magnetic field B, and the energy difference between them can be determined. The microwave frequency corresponding to energy quantum H nu causes transitions from m is equal to minus one by two to m is equal to plus one by two states that produces an absorption signal. The G value defines the change in the position of the absorption line in the spectrum under given h nu and b depending on the features particular to the state of paramagnetic electron in the reference sample now esr by precession the torque n acting on magnetic dipole in a magnetic field is given by n is equal to mu e cross b let s is the angular momentum and the rate of change of angular momentum will be giving us the torque therefore ds upon dt is equal to mu e cross b using the above equation of mu e is equal to minus gamma s writing thereby d mu upon dt is equal to gamma mu e cross b is equal to gamma b cross mu e evidently the change in mu e is perpendicular to both mu e and b as the magnetic field is considered in z direction that is b is equal to bk this k is unit vector k and mu e is written as mu x unit vector i plus mu y unit vector j plus mu z unit vector k so that d mu upon dt is equal to minus gamma bk cross mu xi plus mu yj plus mu zk is equal to gamma to mu x b j minus mu y b i as this relates to two vectors the components on each side will be identical therefore d mu x upon dt is equal to minus gamma mu y b and ddt of mu y is equal to gamma mu x b and ddt of mu z is equal to 0 and these infers that mu z is constant mu x is equal to cos of omega lt and mu y is equal to sin of omega l 
t and taking omega l is equal to gamma b. The figure mentions the fixed laboratory coordinates x, y, z and rotating coordinates x prime y z y prime z prime for the angular velocity along z axis. The axis marked primed and unprimed are the same at t is equal to 0. Mu being the magnetic moment precesses about b with a constant frequency omega l making a fixed angle with the direction of the static magnetic field as depicted in the figure. The frequency omega l is referred as Lormer frequency. Now considering a second coordinate system x prime y prime z prime rotating about z axis at an angular velocity of omega. Now the connection between laboratory and rotating frames is understood from the figure as we have shown the laboratory coordinates as x y z and the rotating coordinates as primes x prime y prime and z primes ds upon dt is equal to d prime s upon dt rotational plus omega cross s and d prime s upon dt rotational is equal to ds upon dt lab plus s cross omega is equal to mu b minus omega by gamma so that d prime mu upon dt is equal to gamma b prime cross mu with b prime equal to b minus omega by gamma. The rate of change of mu measured in the rotating system can be calculated as it appears that the rotating system was stationary having an effective magnetic field b prime along z axis and if b prime is constant and omega is equal to gamma b the effective field b prime has no role to play. The magnetic moment is without torque in the rotating frame and remains constant with respect to it. So ESR experiments imply time dependent components and do not use a constant B compared to the constant components. Let total magnetic field have a Z component that is of constant magnitude B and it also have an oscillating component along X axis with a peak to peak amplitude of 4B1 such that B1 is quite less than B. The time dependent field is B1 is equal to iota 2 B1 cos of omega t is equal to B1 iota cos of omega t plus j sin omega t plus B1 iota cos of omega t minus j sin of omega t. Now the first term is a field of constant amplitude that rotates about z axis at frequency omega in a similar way as electronic precession. The second term is similar but with opposite of electronic precession. The component rotating opposite to the sense of electronic precession does not cause resonance. So neglecting this total field B E is written as iota B1 cos omega t plus J B1 sin omega t plus K B. B1 is constant in a coordinate system that rotates about the z direction. In this rotating frame it is shown that d prime mu upon dt rotational is equal to gamma b prime cross mu that the static field d prime is equal to b minus omega by gamma. Now b1 is along x prime axis of rotating coordinate system and b prime is along z or z prime axis when b is equal to omega by gamma the condition for magnetic resonance occurs and b is equal to b1. B is either nearly parallel to B or anti parallel to B as B1 is quite less than B apart from magnetic resonance. The motion of magnetic movement is of a precession about B1 with angular velocity gamma B1 and every half cycle of this motion it changes from being parallel to anti parallel and back again. So in the rotating system this motion take place in the plane normal to B and now as B1 is quite less than B the precession about B1 occurs at a much lower velocity than that at which B1 rotates in the laboratory system. Thus in the latter system the motion of the angular momentum and the magnetic moment consists of a rapid motion about B at an angle varying from 0 to pi and back again.
thus when b is equal to omega by gamma the magnetic moment assumed to be initially parallel to b can be completely reversed by an application of rotating field b1 the value of b1 is very small relaxation mechanisms the populations of the two levels with m is equal to minus 1 by 2 and m is equal to 1 by 2 are determined by the Boltzmann distribution under thermal equilibrium conditions and accordingly n1 by n2 is equal to exponential h nu upon kbt. Considering n1 and n2 are the populations of m is equal to minus 1 by 2 and m is equal to 1 by 2 levels respectively, though n1 minus n2 is very small, but the phenomena of ESR absorption depends on this difference. There is an equal probability of transition from lower level to upper level to that from upper level to lower level. However, there is an excess of upward transitions as N1 is greater than N2 and there is a net absorption of energy from microwave field. This leads to an increase of N2 that will continue until N1 is equal to N2 and net absorption of energy will tend to be zero. In case this situation does not occur, there must therefore be other mechanisms through which energy absorbed and stored in the upper level is dissipated in such a way as to allow return to lower level to maintain the population difference. These mechanisms are called relaxation processes. Spin lattice relaxation. The electron spins are randomly oriented in space and their resultant moment is zero in the absence of magnetic field. The spins become aligned parallel or anti-parallel to B when a static magnetic field B is applied. Because of this slight, less spins have a, having the parallel alignment to give the population difference, magnetization Mz is observed. A certain time interval is required to obtain equilibrium value that is same as that needed for the spins to become again randomly oriented when the magnetic field is suddenly switched off. This reorientation time is referred as space lattice relaxation time T1 that measures the characteristic time for recovery of the magnetization of the paramagnetic system along the static field direction after the equilibrium is disturbed. So there is an interaction between the spins and lattice vibrations that generate phonons. However, the spin magnetic moment is not influenced directly by the vibrations of the lattice. The coupling of the lattice vibrations with magnetic spin states occurs indirectly through residual spin orbit coupling. The crystalline electric field in ionic compounds or chemical bonds in molecular free radical raise the degeneracy of the orbital states usually leaving an orbital singlet as ground state. The orbital singlet behaves like an atomic S state. However, orbital magnetic field is not completely quenched because of a second order admixture of the singlet orbital ground state with higher orbital states. Therefore, there is slight orbital magnetic field acting on the spin movement. The orbital movements are strongly coupled to the lattice through strong crystalline electric fields. If the lattice is vibrating, interatomic distances vary and therefore crystalline field also vary. As a result, the residual orbital magnetic field acting on the electron spin is effectively modulated by all vibrational modes. Practically, the concern is with the phonons having frequency 3 to 30 gigahertz corresponding to the residual orbital field component that is transfers to B. In general, one expects large values of T1 with decrease of temperature because of the freezing of lattice vibrations. Three processes are proposed for spin lattice relaxation. Coming to the direct process. The direct process involves phonons of the same frequency as the ESR resonance quantum H nu below. The figure illustrates that a spin makes a transition to the lower state emitting a phonon at the resonant frequency nu. Only a small fraction of the normal distribution of the thermal energy is concentrated in vibrational frequencies 
as low as the ESR frequencies. Therefore, phonons at the resonance frequencies are normally scarce. The process is prominent at low temperatures. Raman process. In this process, lattice phonons are scattered by the spins and with the ESR frequency adds to or subtracted from the frequency of scattered phonons. This is a two photon process. The figure shows the relaxation by the Raman process where phonon H nu prime is absorbed and phonon H nu double prime is emitted accompanied by down transition of the spin. There must be lattice modes having difference frequencies equal to the ESR frequency. Such vibrations, however, can be in the higher frequency region more densely populated at room temperature. In this process, many phonons pair can participate as the only requirement is that their frequency difference be equal to ESR frequency. Effectiveness of this process decreases with the decrease in temperature as the vibration at higher frequencies get frozen at low temperatures. Third process is the Orbeck process. This process involves absorption of a phonon by direct process to excite the spin system from the upper level to a much higher level at an energy delta above the ground doublet. Then dropping back into lower Zeeman level of the ground state by emitting another phonon of slightly different energy. The figure here shows the energy level diagram that explains the Orbeck process. This mentions level B and it lacks by way of two direct transitions involving a third level C. In this process, the paramagnetic ion is indirectly transferred from upper Zeeman level to the lower Zeeman level of the ground doublet. So it is more restricted than the Raman process because two specific phonons are involved. Only the direct process is significant at liquid helium temperature, whereas Raman and Orbeck processes dominate at higher temperatures. Spin-spin relaxation. It contains all those mechanisms in which the spins can exchange energy amongst themselves instead of giving it back to the lattice or molecular system. Dipole interaction. It arises from the influence of the magnetic field of one of the paramagnetic ions on the dipole moments of neighboring ions. The actual local field at any given site will depend on the arrangement of the neighbors and the direction of their dipole moments. If the external magnetic field acts on the paramagnetic compound, the local field at each ion must be added vectorally to it. If the local field is small compared with the external field, which is in Tesla, only the component of the former parallel to the latter is important. The size of this component varies from side to side, giving a random displacement to the resonance frequency of each ion. If the paramagnetic ions are identical so that they precess at the same frequency in the external magnetic field, there is an additional resonance interaction. The precessing components of one magnetic dipole set up an oscillatory field at another dipole which is just at right frequencies to cause magnetic resonance transitions and vice versa. The mutual interaction produces resonance transitions that are equivalent to the exchange of quanta between the neighboring ions. Thus the quanta are exchanged among neighboring ions by mutual spin flip and spins are in thermal equilibrium is disturbed. So it is re-established exponentially with time constant T2 which is called spin-spin relaxation time. And T1 is 10 to the power minus 6 seconds and T2 is 10 to 10 seconds. So T2 is independent of temperature. Talking about the exchange coupling, this is important only in undiluted crystals where the paramagnetic sites are so close together that the orbital of the unpaired electrons overlap. Here the spins interact electrostatically through a short range interaction that is called exchange interaction. The results in width of absorption lines in ESR spectrum. 
cross relaxation. Considering a sample having two spin systems with different resonance frequencies, if the tails of the two absorption curves corresponding to the spin systems overlap, a flip-flop spin exchange can take place in the overlapping region. This process is referred to cross relaxation. As spin-spin relaxation times are much shorter than spin lattice relaxation time, this process is effective for dissipating energy than direct transfer to the lattice. The figure depicts the two overlapping lines centered on fields B and B prime. Let us assume for example T1x for some species x is very long and that T1y for species y is very short. If a quantum of energy absorbed by a spin of type x is given to a spin of type y through a spin exchange, the quantum will have a high probability of being transferred to the lattice by the y spin before it is transferred back to the x spin through a reverse exchange. It is because of the short T1 y. The spin lattice relaxation time of the x spin system is thus effectively reduced. Nuclear magnetic resonance termed as NMR. This was discovered in 1945 independently by Bloch and co-workers and by Purcell and co-workers. NMR is the form of spectroscopy concerned with radio frequency induced transitions between magnetic energy levels of the nucleus having a nuclear magnetic nuclear angular momentum. Difference between ESR and NMR is there is the sim similarity of magnetic resonance phenomena that occurs in electron spin resonance except that it is of same type that of magnetic dipole moment of the nucleus that is involved. The nuclear magnetic moment is smaller than that of electron as a result of mass difference. The resonance is correspondingly lower in frequency and fall in the radio frequency region. Another important difference from ESR is that there is no longer a restriction to molecules with unpaired electrons. Any molecule with a magnetic nucleus will produce NMR spectrum. The NMR and ESR are similar to the sense that NMR deals with nuclear ground state while ESR deals with electronic ground state. The principle is consider a nucleus having a magnetic moment mu n. The energy of interaction between the nuclear magnetic moment and magnetic field B is F is equal to minus mu n B. The magnetic moment is a vector which is collinear with angular momentum J. The operator for the vectors are related by mu n is equal to gamma j, where g n e upon 2 m p is called gyrometric ratio. g n is nuclear g factor here and m p is mass of the proton. Gamma varies with the state it can have positive or negative value and is characteristic of the nuclei. A dimensionless angular momentum operator i is defined by j is equal to h cross i or h by 2 pi i. i square has eigenvalues i into i plus 1 where i is an integer or half integer. The component i z has eigenvalue m where m can take values i, i minus 1, i minus 2 up to minus i and from these above equations mu n is equal to gamma h cross i and Quantum mechanical Hamiltonian therefore can be written as h is equal to minus gamma h cross i b. If the magnetic field is assumed to be in the z direction where we can take b x is equal to b y is equal to 0 and b z is equal to b 0, the Hamiltonian is replaced by h is equal to minus gamma h cross i z b naught. The eigenvalues of Hamiltonian are just the eigenvalues of i z. So that is Em is written as minus gamma h cross b naught m. And for i is equal to 3 by 2, m can take the values 3 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2. The figure depicts the energy levels for i is equal to 3 by 2 on a corresponding magnetic field. The separation between levels are delta E is equal to gamma h cross b naught. The separation between the levels increases linearly with b naught. As the energy is related to frequency, delta E is equal to h nu 
is equal to gamma h cross b naught and nu is equal to gamma b naught by 2 pi. Putting the value of gamma in the above equation, nu is equal to gn e b0 upon 4 pi mp h nu is equal to g b naught e h upon 4 pi mp is equal to g n beta n b naught where beta n is equal to e h upon 4 pi mp is called the nuclear magneton. The above equations lead to resonance condition. The resonance for NMR may be achieved by varying either b0 or by varying the driving frequency. The figure shows the energy levels for a proton where I is equal to 1 by 2 in a magnetic field. Radio frequency of energy H nu causes resonance at a field given by the above equations. The separation between the two levels increases linearly with the magnetic field and transition between them can be induced by magnetic field component B one of radio frequency which is at right angle to B0. The transitions which give rise to NMR spectra are magnetic dipole in origin. The selection rule for the magnetic quantum number m is delta m is equal to plus minus 1. So types of nuclei viewed through NMR are NMR requires the presence of nuclear magnetic moment associated with non-zero nuclear spin. The occurrence of non-zero nuclear spin is common in the periodic table and thus NMR can be observed in isotopes of most elements. The nuclei can be divided into following categories. All the nuclei with I is equal to 0 with magnetic moment and quadrupole moment are 0. And all the nuclei with I is equal to 1 by 2 have magnetic moment but no quadrupole moment. And all the nuclei with I greater than 1 possess both magnetic and quadrupole moment. So, students, let us summarize what we have learnt in this model is electron spin resonance and nuclear magnetic resonance, their importance and where which molecules can be studied through ESR and NMR. Thank you.